so it's always interesting to see how other people are seeing something that you are i think that's why reaction content in general is fairly popular because you want to want to either hear someone else's opinion or just have your confirmation bias uh reinforced i guess so today we're going to be looking at an article on the mmrpg.com uh website which is called five things new world must change so let's see how they see it let's see how we see it or at least me yeah using the royal we there and uh just you know what lines up because i'm planning to make a video at some point which is basically my take on you know what new world needs to do in the short term and what they need to do in the medium and long term to just see as much success as possible because we're seeing the player numbers drop a little bit which is not too crazy every mmo does it and obviously there are some issues with the game going forward that probably need to be addressed so let's take a look at how mmrpg.com's editorial staff are seeing it uh what is the five things they would change about new world so the first is quest sharing this one is a no-brainer for me i do not understand how my friends and i can all be grouped together and questing in the same area yet i cannot share my quests with them so we may all gain xp in progress place lists in the mmos have already solved this category in a game where the social system is arguably its greatest strength totally agree the lack of ability to share quests is truly baffling and seems like an incredible omission uh, when so much of the questing boils down to kill these creatures and loot these chests, the inability to perform these tasks as a group can seem, for some, to be needlessly tedious. Fortunately, games have solved for this already, uh, so Amazon need not reinvent the wheel in this regard. I think a lot of players would want this feature. I agree. Uh, straight off the bat, this is one that I, I do think the game probably should have. And obviously some quests only open up once you've already done some quests, even for the side ones. But in terms of like town hall ones and covenant ones, uh, you know, the town board or whatever it's called and covenant ones, and then also give the options on the story ones just in case people didn't pick them up. I totally agree. That is a, a completely uh, valid point. I do think the game should have this. I do believe it hasn't because questing wasn't even really a big thing in New World up until about six, seven months ago, something like that. It wasn't ever a system that they really put any time into because obviously the game previously was a sandbox survival game and then they're just kind of you know pushing this more theme parky pve narrative in there right now so this is probably something they will eventually add they just haven't got around to it yet i mean trading wasn't even you know player to player trading wasn't even put into the game until like i don't know like five six months ago something like that previously to trade with someone you had to either do it through the marketplace or drop it on the ground and have them pick it up. So this sh shows how little of the actual core integral features for an MMO New World had up until very, very recently. So this is one of those that, while I don't think it's the most important thing in the world, definitely an actual good point that they probably should have this one in. So next up is Player Mail. We're going to have to see what they mean by this. I do assume they're going to be like World of Warcraft, you know, put somebody's name in, I'm going to send you 100 gold. It's going to fly across the world and you're going to get it. If that's the case, I probably disagree but we'll see. So as I mentioned above, I believe New World's greatest strength lies in its social systems. I've described the game to my friends as an approachable EVE online due to all the scheming, coordinating and sense of pride we see across the factions and companies. In a way, just, just much less free, unfortunately, due to the faction system. It seems odd then for such a socially minded game to not include player mail. To clarify, New World does have player trading. Each settlement has a trading post, which is entirely player run based on supply and demand for that region. Additionally, you can press H when looking at a nearby player to initiate trade. But there is no player mail system. This is a problem because oftentimes my friends and I will be literally kilometers apart. In that time, I may have found loot which doesn't benefit my build, but does benefit theirs. A player mail system would allow for the instant transfer of that loot and circumvent the need for us to physically meet up in the world. Like quest sharing, put this one squarely in the MMOs have already solved this category. So I agree with a player mail system, but I don't agree that you should be able to send loot across the whole world because then what's to stop you making a second account and just mailing stuff to your role? Uh, you know, using an alt character and mailing your stuff to it across the world, circumventing the need to travel across the world and then, you know, place it on the marketplace wherever you are, store it or whatever. It just creates problems that they're trying to not have by having localization with you only being able to use, like is mentioned here, the marketplace is local to one specific territory. So is your bank. Uh, so unless it was something that you could do like, oh, I'm in you know, Weaver's Fen and I'm going to send you something and you'll have to come to Weaver's Fen to pick it up or maybe have some like sandbox element of people uh, have to move the mail or something like that, which kind of defies the point a little bit. 
then, you know, I don't agree that you should just be able to send stuff across world. That's not this game. Uh, while it is a nice quality of life feature, very accessible and casual friendly, that's not exactly what New World's going for. They do still want this game to have a bit of a barrier, and that is one of the barriers, having things localized. So, yeah, I don't disagree with having player mail, and you should be able to send each other messages and things, which in this day and age is pretty much worthless, other than you can send streamers hate mail, I guess. But, yeah, I, I don't really agree that you should just be able to send stuff across world. So that's a 50-50 that's a for me on that one. Not in the way it's described, but player mail, yeah, definitely could be a thing. No PvE player collision. If you play New World, how many times have you been boxed out by other players, preventing you from killing a boss for a quest? Yeah, it definitely happened to me. In my recent experience, I had to sit and wait for a boss to respawn four times just for me to get close enough to do enough damage to qualify as a kill. The reason I failed in three of those attempts was due to player simply boxing me out. This physically pushed me away from the boss, preventing me from landing a single blow. In a PvP situation, I think player collision is totally fine. Agree. Uh, it makes sense for incredibly obvious push them back reasons. In a PvE situation, I just don't understand why player collision needs to exist. We are just trying to do our quests, man. Player collision is in such circumstances needs not exist. Again, other MMOs have solved this. Um, so I think this is going to be a running theme in this, that, that other MMOs have solved this problem. But they're not always problems. Like the first two, uh, quests being shared, it, it's a minor one and something that if I was making a top five things of uh, of needing to be changed or added to New World, that definitely wouldn't be on my list. But, you know, I can see why they'd want it in there. But I don't understand the concept of like, just because other MMOs have solved this means that New World has to put this in the game. Uh, and this is one of those. I don't disagree that this doesn't feel good. And there are times specifically when it feels really bad. Uh, dungeons are, are a good example of this. When you're doing a dungeon and you've got mostly melee people, but in the same way, you should obviously try and circumvent that by having more people play ranged so you're not all just cluster fucking around uh, creatures studying melee range and then you're probably not getting hit by other stuff as well, which is beneficial all around. In terms of open world, I can understand completely. I just don't think that's what they want to do. It was kind of a slog to get them to remove the fact that you couldn't shoot through uh, people in the open world. And I think that, in hindsight, was actually a good change. Because if you didn't know previously in the world, if you tried to shoot an enemy, whether that be a player or a monster, uh, PvE stuff, if somebody was stood in front of you, even if they weren't toggled for PvP, if they were in your party, if they weren't in your party, it would just hit their player model and go nowhere. So it was almost impossible to hit things where there was a bunch of people around it which was a huge problem. In terms of the PvE collision, I think this would be way less of an issue if it wasn't for the fact that in New World, you guys will have probably noticed this, when you swing, you are carried forward by momentum in this game. So your character physically moves forward, and if something's in the way of you moving forward, it sort of bounces you back, and it just feels really, really uh, poorly done. It feels like you're lagging, and it just looks silly. It feels silly. If you solve that that would probably make this feel less bad. And in a situation where if loads of people are crowded around something and you can't hit it, use a ranged ability. And if you don't have ranged abilities, it's kind of like that's your the cons to your build, right? You, you've got pros and cons to everything. If you're running full melee, then if you can't attack something that's got people full melee around it, that's probably something that you should address within your build or just take it on the chin. But I can understand if people wanted this added, I wouldn't be completely against it you know it's one of those that it doesn't super matter to me but at the same time i understand why it hasn't been uh, i just would like to see the you know the collision when you're you're moving forward with the momentum based attacking not being such a like jerky laggy mess uh, that would be my only my only problem with that one so reduced recall cooldown uh yeah i okay i'm gonna see what they want to say but ag again this seems to be one of those things I don't know how much this person has played the game, but you can just buy houses and then you have a lesser recall time. And on top of that, the recall time is there for a purpose to make you travel around in the world and not just constantly be recalling. Because if you're doing that, it kind of negates the open world aspect of New World and, and the fact that they want you out in the world playing. And again, there is a little bit of a contradiction here because then you would ask, why is there fast travel if they want you out in the world? But I don't think having people just, you know, zip up in teleporting around the map, having, you know, super low recall times, having multiple recall times is specifically the answer to this. I think that there's uh, definitely a reason that this is the case. But let's see what they have to say. One of the greatest features in the world in, is the world itself. 
you know, there we go. Eternum is beautiful, one of the most beautiful worlds I've seen in an MMO. Completely agree. As a natural explorer, I absolutely love running around for miles. Each region feels distinct, has its own unique design language and art direction. It's stunning, yeah. Uh, but every now and again, I want to visit my home settlement for storage management, quest turn-ins, and crafting. Fortunately, New World has a Hearthstone or Recall function which teleports you to the town's inn, and I believe the cooldown for this recall is too long. It currently sets for one hour, and given the fetch and kill nature of the quests, you'll find yourself traveling back to town frequently. I think reducing the cooldown to 30 minutes would be a good compromise, so as not to increase tedium, while also continuing to encourage exploration. And speaking of exploring, they're going to go into the, the next one. I can understand the point. Again, I wouldn't be mad if if they did this. 60 minutes to one hour, halving the cooldown. Uh, maybe they could do something within the game uh, to give you some way to unlock this. Some progression that you can build into that, that allows you to get a, a lessened recall. That would probably be a better option, in my opinion. But at the same time, the game's not trying to appeal to everyone who wants to immediately do things. The idea of New World, at least I believe from a de design philosophy from when I'm playing the game, how it makes me feel is that it doesn't want me to just run to my quest objective, do the quest and then run back and just constantly do that. It wants me to explore in between, gather in between, you know, get go off the beaten path, go and do something, maybe do some open world PvP. And it's more the game for me, at least, I can speak for myself, is the things you do in the interim of leaving the town to go to an objective and then return to the town. It's not that I like ever feel that I need more recalls because I'm just always doing something else. So maybe this is one of those things where it's your expectation of what you're doing and how you're trying to play the game compared to how you play other games that is causing this like uh, this barrier or need for this feature. But at the same time, this definitely would be more casual, more accessible. And I'm sure people would be, you know, if they are trying to play that way, would be inclined to to enjoy this one. So yeah, I wouldn't, again, not a problem for me. Not something I would have put in the, you know, top five things that I need changed. Uh, there's definitely bigger problems than all four of these so far, but, you know, it, it's totally fine from a accessibility standpoint and a uh, ease of use, I guess. And the next one is manage inventory while traveling and gathering. I already completely agree with this. I don't even have to read the rest. I 100% already agree because it's something that I brought up as a negative about the game during my, my first impressions slash mid-review. Uh, so I find myself managing inventory a lot in any RPG. New World seems to be of two minds on this. On one hand, you can check the map while running. This allows you to check faction status, place waypoints, check the location of your quest and more. Thus, it's an efficient use of your time. On the other hand, you cannot manage your inventory while running or gathering. Opening your inventory forces your character to stop running and stand still. In a world populated by overly aggressive mobs with unnaturally long leashes, stopping in the wild to spend 20 minutes managing your inventory presents a real risk. They've already addressed here why this is the case, uh, the risk, right? I understand why they've done this, and I think a good middle ground would be if you have PvP toggled and you're out in the world, maybe you shouldn't be allowed to use your inventory while you're while while you're just running around, because then it creates a an element of you have to be prepared, right? If you only have one of one type of potion on your hot bar, and then you use that potion in a fight, and then you need to equip another one. You should be punished for not being prepared. You shouldn't be able to just, you know, hit your numlock uh, and then open your inventory real quick and drag it in. While you could say that that is totally valid and you should be able to do that, I just think that's specifically why they've done this. But if you're just in PVE mode, uh, just allow people to open their inventory and run around and, and do whatever they want while they have the inventory open. Because at that point, you've already opted in to not playing risky, right? There's two ways to play New World or multiple ways. And New World is very good in this way and why it's such a fun game for me in that if I just want to bang on a podcast and just sit and chill and fish for fucking four hours straight, I can do that and, and I don't have to be bothered by anyone and I can just sit and have fun, you know, just zone out and just focus on something else and make progress within the game. Or if I want to run around and just casually do quests or whatever, or just do some gathering. But if I want to, you know, alter my mindset and just be like now i want to do something where i have to have my head on a swivel uh I, I want people to i want the world to feel dangerous and things like that then i toggle on pvp so in a game that allows you to already make these choices i do think this plays into the same factor if you're just wanting to be casual and just run around the world let people open their inventory and and i have a look at it and move their stuff around because then there isn't this aspect of like punishment for not being prepared whereas i do think in pvp that probably plays a bit more of a, you know, hardcore factor 
and would make much more sense. I think that is a fairly easy thing to, to implement as well. If PvP toggled, have the same system as now. If not PvP toggled, then allow people to just use their inventory while running around. And I do believe that's why the New World team have done this. I could be completely wrong, but they only implemented this uh, as a feature with the new inventory style and things where your character stands there and turns around. Uh, a few months ago, it wasn't like super long ago that they implemented this. It was part of when they were changing the UI to be a little bit more cool looking because uh, previously it didn't look too amazing. And this was when they started focusing more on the open world toggle aspect. And I do believe that's why they've done this. Either that or just because they wanted to show off that, you know, you can in real time bring up a character sheet and it shows your character standing there looking at you. But yeah, uh, I agree in a way and again disagree. Uh, so there you go. Allowing you to manage your inventory on the long runs from location to location just seems like an obvious quality of life improvement to me. Yeah, it is a quality of life improvement. Using this downtime to take stock of what I just gathered and looted whilst on the run just seems like a more efficient use of time than forcing me to stop moving. I can already check my map, let me manage my inventory too. A lot of these points in this article, while I don't completely disagree with them and some of them have some merit to be put into the game, I think there's much uh, more pressing matters, to be honest, in terms of what New World needs to do. And I will probably make that video in the next couple of days. I'm just going to try and, you know, get to all 50 plus first because I'm still taking the game slow. And uh, then I'll talk about it, but I've been watching a lot of streams. I've obviously played the game a lot previous to this in the other alphas and the betas and things like that. So I have a good handle on what's going on. We're already seeing quite a few issues in New World. I've already noticed that, at least on my server, the queues have completely gone away, which means that the population's dropping. Uh, we're seeing some faction imbalance problems on my server, as well as some people skirting or cheating the siege mechanics. There's bugs right now. I'm not sure if they've been fixed or not, but I've had people report to me and show me evidence of guilds exploiting some kind of bug to drop wars. Uh, I mean, make wars go away. So they've got no risk of being, being uh, defeated in a war because it never happens. If you've watched anyone do a siege, it seems like the offensive side of the siege is completely way too difficult uh, compared to defending due to the fact that you could spawn on flags and things like that. Uh, there are definitely some problems to talk about with New World. And like I say, I will eventually make that video where I talk about, from my perspective, what needs to happen in the short, medium and long term to make sure New World is successful as I hope it will be. So they've been making good progress so far with the stuff that they've added. I do expect that they will have a content patch ready for us within the next month or so with some more changes based on the feedback that they've been getting from people. There definitely is some balance problems, especially in open world small scale PvP like 1v1s. So that's something that probably needs to be addressed. And just in general, you know, there's a bunch of things that can be done better uh, to build upon the foundation of an already fairly fun and good game, in my opinion. So there you go. That is the five things New World must change to improve the game from the MMRPG.com website. Let me know down in the comment section what you agree with here, what you disagree with, whether it's my points or their points. And uh, what would you like to be changed? I'm going to look through and see what people are saying and think on it myself. And then maybe that will get incorporated into my next video talking about those things that uh, I do believe need to be changed. So thank you as always. Check out the links in the video description. Throw some coins to your MMO watcher on the Patreon. Uh, you can find that link down there. Join my Discord server, talk about games, MMOs, anime girls, all those good things. You can do that by typing into your address bar, uh, discord.gg forward slash TV, or click the link in the video description. Appreciate you all. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. We're out. Peace.